Hello friends, this is Manish Shohan from Jagoinvestor.com. In this video, I am going to share with you results of a very interesting survey which we did some time back. It was taken by close to 2000 people and we wanted to understand how people think about the gold which is given in Indian marriages. Now, you have seen that, you know, in our country, almost all the parents, they start saving into gold for their daughter's marriages. They try to accumulate a lot of gold. They put a lot of money into gold and at various stage of their life, they accumulate a lot of gold. And whenever there is marriage, they try to give the gold. This is part of our tradition. The thing which we wanted to understand is, are we overdoing it? I just had this question that do parents get over obsessed about it? Do they give too much gold to their daughters do they really want that much if you ask this question to daughters or girls young girls today will they say that you know yes i need a lot of gold in my in my marriage i really want my parents to invest into it so is there a mismatch or not that is what i wanted to understand and if you are a parent who has a girl child who is like a, a small baby right now like if you have a five-year-old daughter, 10-year-old daughter, or, or just born daughter, how you should go about it. So I just wanted to give you a perspective on that, what others are thinking, because these things are not talked about much in, in outside family, right? You don't, maybe you know about your friends, maybe you know about your relatives, how they think, but you don't think how thousands and thousands of people across India are thinking who are in the same age group as yours, or maybe, uh, maybe of your same profile, right? So this is what was going into my mind and I ran this survey. Now, uh, what is the aim of this survey? Very simple. I want to share how others think about it. I also want to help parents of today to rethink about these goals. Like with this survey, maybe you get some idea, maybe some mindset change happens. Maybe you get some something out of the survey which helps you to rethink how you are doing this. And obviously I want it to be raising this topic because it is not talked much about everybody just says that save it in gold put a lot of money in gold and things like that okay so a little bit about the participants we ran this data on uh, this survey on our website jagoinvestor.com and uh, and few other places also but it was mostly online so the people who were to taking this survey they were like urban people most of them like having smartphone working in big companies uh, from a big city earning decent money so people like you and me uh, yeah so little bit data 75 percent of the women who took the survey were working earning 32 percent of women participants said they come from orthodox families 51 percent of women participants were married 56% of men who took the survey said that they were parents to a girl child. 71% of men and 64% of women said that they live in a big city. And the average participant age for female was 31 years and 42 years for males. So this survey was actually taken by a lot of young girls also. I had sent this survey to a lot of girls who were in the age range of 18 years, 19 years, 20 years. Uh, 24 25 so mostly who are in colleges right and just started working and in case of males it was taken by all all kind of people however majority of them were like uh, who had just become parents or who are in the age range of like 35 to 45 that is the average okay however it is taken by all kind of people Okay, so let us start. We asked a lot of questions in the survey and the primary thing which I wanted to understand was what is going on in women's mind? How much do they wish to get from their parents? So this is the question we asked. So all the female participants, we asked this question. How much gold do you wish to get from your parents for your wedding? Now, we gave them three options and they had to choose one option. And here were the results. 87% of them said we want only that much gold which is required for ceremony nothing more just think about it 87% of the girls said this 10% uh, said that more is always better however 3% people said uh, girls said at least what other girls have got in my relatives or friend circle okay so these were the answers uh, if we just divide it by age, 
then all the girls who were below 25 years uh it was 93% 93% of them said that they only want gold which is required for ceremony as the age was increasing it was decreasing but not at a very very high rate still you can say that you know majority of the girls in across all the age groups they wanted mainly the gold which is required for ceremony only okay so i will leave the interpretation to you but the point was that not many girls want a lot of gold like much more than what is required they just they understand the parent situation they also care for their parents they don't want you to blow away all your money on them okay this is what i could interpret um we also asked them a lot of questions like are they from big city or small city do they come from families who have orthodox mind or or not and they answered yes or no for each of these and when we grouped the answer based on these things we did not see a major difference like still it was very close to what the average were thought so it does not depend too much if the girl is living in a big city or a small city it does not matter whether they come from an orthodox mind a set of uh, a set family or not uh, we also asked them if they are married or not and if they are working or not still we could not see major difference okay so the conclusion was same we asked the same kind of question to males also so we asked them uh, the same thing the however the wordings were a little different we asked them how much gold do they wish to give to their daughter in wedding and the answer was this 71% of them said only what is required for ceremony now this is more of a wish like what they think what they want however in reality i understand that a lot of people don't do what they wish for maybe because of what society will think what their what their relatives will think they may be deviating from what they are thinking however the point is that most of them still said the same thing they don't want to overdo it they want to just give the gold which is required for the ceremony that's all okay now apart from that let's come to the next thing we wanted to understand how women and men see gold which is given in indian marriages i'll explain you that so uh, we ask girls what is the main reason why you want gold from your wedding for your wedding so if parents are giving you the gold how you how do you see that gold what is that gold to you and i will i will show you the answers very soon but let me show you the eight options we gave them eight reasons and they had to choose one option the top most thing and 2% of the girls said that they want gold from your from their parents because they know that they will not be getting any inheritance later it happens with some girls so at least i should get gold and some other valuables at the time of marriage because later i know my brothers will not give it and my parents will not think about it so let's get the gold and other valuables however this was not a popular choice very very less number of girls chose this option uh the second thing 3% of the girls said that because of the glamour and the status symbol so i don't think it is going to be it is a major thing for girls nowadays at least for the majority the third thing was because of peer pressure so a lot of girls may think that my sister got this much gold and my friends got this much this much gold and the other girls who are in my relatives they got this much gold so you know whenever we are talking about it i should also be in the same league so but this was again just 5% of the people said this of girls said this the next option was because i don't want to listen to the taunts which are thrown which will be thrown from my in laws and their families in future okay they don't want that and hence they want gold again this was not a not a, a popular thing only 6% girls said this and then 8% said that yeah i want it because i like to wear gold jewelry that's the reason i want it so these were the five reasons which was which were less popular now i will show you the top most three one, uh, three other options which were like chosen by the maximum number of people of girls so 13% people said which was a little uh, like shocking for me that because wearing gold is marriage is auspicious when i was putting this option i had thought a very less number of girls will choose it but this was third highest so they see it from that point of view okay 
um the second uh, popular thing was i don't want gold yeah 26% girl said i don't want gold please don't give me gold and the most popular thing was i will have some asset of my own that's how they lo- they are looking at it so the girls are seeing the gold which is given in their marriages by their parents as an asset that i will i will have some asset of my my own that's the reason i want it okay yeah so this was the answer by females now we ask the same question in different way to men if you will give gold to your daughter what will be the main reason why are you giving it and again there were seven options this time little bit different than females and 2% said that i don't want to give gold only 2% two pe- two of the parents said very directly that i won't be giving any gold um yeah 2% said that i'll give it because you know that's the status symbol 5% said that i understand that it is unsaid dowry in our culture in our in our country and i can't do much i i won't be able to do much i will have to like give in that's what 5% people said 8% said that because wearing gold in marriage is auspicious so again this point was chosen by many but not very large section and then they said because of peer pressure because everyone does it because my friend did it because my relatives did it they give gold to their daughters how can i not give it i will have to do it even though i don't want it and then 17% people said that because i want to follow our old traditions and culture so it was coming out of this mindset that it is our culture it is our tradition we have to do it and then 59% of the people said that because that will act like some asset to her future for her future so what i can make out out of the survey is that men want to give the gold mainly as an asset to to their daughter that is what is going on in their mind that is the primary thing okay and the same thing is uh, same thing girls also want okay uh, yeah now let's move to the next questions so apart from these two primary things we are six more questions i'll just share the answers of those questions to you so the first thing we asked is gold is overrated in india agree disagree or they are neutral and females said 77% agreed 5% disagreed and 17% were like neutral so we are talking about like people think too much about gold uh, over invest in gold every time like if there is any 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 uh, event they just buy gold right in in dantheras or maybe diwali or any anything like that and men also kind of agreed so men and women were on the same page here then we asked this question that you know girls prefer wearing new trendy jewelry either it is gold or no gold it does not matter matter rather than those traditional gold jewelry so we asked this same question to men and women and women said 53% agreed that yeah true this is true 18% disagreed and 29% were neutral however in case of men more of them agreed to this so um i don't know how to interpret this i will leave that on you to interpret but this is the result okay um the next thing we asked is expecting gold in marriage from male side is nothing but a soft way of expecting dowry in today's world right this is what we see in movies also and girls said 63% agreed 17% disagreed and 21% were, were neutral however and the men were also on the same page like similar kind of agreement fourth thing which we asked which i think is is a given fact that parents should focus more on their girl education and mag- making her independent rather than focusing on her marriage and gold accumulation okay and i think both of them agreed to this you can see the numbers the fifth thing which we asked is it's totally okay when mothers give away their own jewelry for their daughter's wedding and the female said like they disagreed on this most of them half of them disagreed 25% agreed and 23% were neutral please understand that uh this is the female side so it 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 is from young girls also and the and the girls or women in their in their 30s 40s 50s all of them are saying this 
and men when i say men it is pure men like i mean it's fathers or young uh, men they are saying 44% on the agreement side 26% on the disagreement side so there is quite a variation or difference in the answer if you can see right 44% men agree to this yes it is fine when mothers give away their own jewelry to their daughters wedding however females were not in agreement most of them are in disagreement however in case of males 26% only disagree okay and the last thing we asked is instead of gold parents should hand over money or other investments to their daughters at the time of marriage and these were the results i mean most of them agree to this and are neutral and neutral to this uh, yeah so based on these questions what i think is what is the five step actions for for parents the first thing is don't get over obsessed with accumulating gold don't overdo it maybe your daughter does not want it as much as you think there is just ask them just just do this exercise just go and ask them how much they want and you will be surprised the second thing is you can surely invest a minimum in gold i'm not saying do it don't do it at all obviously you can do a little bit um uh, which is required in wedding in ceremonies for obviously the cultural reasons are tradition but but not more than that and the third point is invest heavily for your daughter's education and her career she is capable of buying her own gold if she wants it okay if she really wants to buy it if she really wants a lot of gold she will be doing it herself make her capable make her so capable that they she can earn a lot and she can do whatever she wants to do rather than you doing it for her and the fourth point is if you want to really give her a gift or for her future security it's better to gift her other kind of assets which are liquid in nature and it also appreciates better so you can you can give them a real estate you can give them bank fixed deposits you can give them stocks you can give them a uh, mutual fund units right these are more liquid and you know because what happens a lot of girls they have gold but they are all kept in lockers or you know in almira they don't it's like kind of invisible wealth for them if they suddenly want let's say 50000 rupees for something they are not able to ask anyone they are not going to obviously liquidate their jewelry right they need hard money so if you want to pass on the wealth give them little bit gold that is fine but gift her other asset classes that's how you do it and finally please start an sip when your daughter is born and never break it let it compound let it run for 20 25 30 years when she is married gift her that and tell her that you know she should again reinvest the money into it and never break it until obviously she needs it and by the time she is like 40 45 50 she is like a wealthy person okay so that was all you were watching jago investor channel and we create happy investors Uh, if you want to learn about personal finance please come to our website which is jagoinvestor.com and if you love this video please share it with more and more number of people and please like our channel and subscribe to our channel thanks a lot bye